London Bridge, the scene of yet another attack. Police were called to an incident at around 2 p.m. local time to reports of a man with a knife wearing what appeared to be an explosive device. Several people were stabbed. Some pedestrians wrestled the man to the ground, one person managing to take the knife off of the attacker. Dozens of officers were on the scene within minutes. The attacker detained, shot, and killed by police. <laughs> Uh, oh my god. I see police officers with guns running running towards where I was heading. Um, and so I just I uh, banged on the bus and tried to get off the bus as quick as I could. And I started running and then I heard gunshots about five or six pop pop pops and I see more police officers running towards the bridge as I'm running <laughs> back. It felt like you was in a bit of a war zone. Um, got out of the van, it was all pretty surreal. Um, and we you hear these popping noises, you hear these, you, you see that you hear the helicopters, you see police running around with guns. Police determined that the explosive device was fake. Keep moving, please. But they evacuated some nearby buildings as a precaution and set up a massive security cordon around the area. It has been declared a terrorist incident. We are working jointly with the City of London Police as we continue to respond. Officers from the Met's Counterterrorism Command are now leading this investigation. But I must stress, we retain an open mind as to any motive. It would be inappropriate to speculate further at this time. The British Prime Minister said that Britain remains united against such attacks. This country will never be cowed or divided or intimidated by this sort of attack. And our values, our British values, will prevail. <laughs> The scenes were reminiscent of an attack in 2017. A white van deliberately drove into pedestrians on London Bridge. When it crashed, three men jumped out and began stabbing people. Eight were killed, 48 others injured, before police shot and killed the attackers. The attack has led to increased security presence in the area, which accounts for the quick response by police to this latest incident. Catherine Stansel, Al Jazeera.